Costello. And their guest star, Errol Flynn, with Rhonda Fleming and Bruce Cabot. And Sid Fields, Joe Kirk, and the Pied Pipers. Presented by... And now, from Hollywood, the Abbott and Costello Show. This is Sunday, it's called it Monday, when you meet your favorite stars. They always bring you fun galore, stay tuned for more on Channel 4. Now it's the Abbott Fellow and Lou Costello, where a will also delight. Won't you put up a seat, it's time to meet your Colgate stars tonight. Let him up, Mom, huh? Is it all right? Yeah, come on up. Come on up. 
Oh, come yeah. on. There you are. Wise guy, huh? Get the size of this bread. Yeah, get a lot of this. How are you, sonny? Fine. What is your name? Brad Mora. Brad what? Mora. Brad Mora. How old are you, son? Nine. Nine years old and he knew the answer. Hiya, Brad. Hi. Glad to see you. How you been? Fine. How's everything? Fine. How's everything going to be? Fine. Okay, Brad. We will have milk any minute. Well, now. All right. <laughs> hey, Brad. What? How old are you? Nine. Nine years old. What school do you go to? Mar Vista. Mar Vista? Yes. Ten dollars! All right. That's all right. a smarty kid. So what? What class are you in? Mrs. Cannon. Mrs. Cannon? Yes. Mrs. Cannon, what class is that? Bungalow 9. What? <laughs> what kind of class is this? Bungalow 9, Mrs. Cannon. <laughs> You mean you have the school teacher in a bungalow? No, no. <laughs> you ask what it. kind of school is this? You ask her, go ahead. Aren't you in a classroom or you're in a bungalow? A bungalow. Alone with Mrs. Cannon? No, 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 no. What? He means, well, what grade are you in, son? The fifth grade. The fifth grade. How long have you been in the fifth grade? Three months. Hell, I... <laughs> Three months the brat's been in the fifth grade. So what? Three months. Well, what about it? Ten dollars. <laughs> Three months in the fifth grade. <laughs> I was in the fifth grade for seven years. I, I, <laughs> seven years? Yeah. Now, I don't what? want to go to the sixth grade. Why not? I don't want to pass my father up. Oh, why don't you? What's that? Did you get anything out of school, Mr. Costello? Did I get anything out of school? Mm -hmm. yeah. I got what I wanted. What? The teacher. Oh, <laughs> about ready to start right now. Yeah. So you could you tell us, please, where it's a restaurant? Restaurant? Yeah. Well, uh, it's one down the street here. <laughs> one down the street. One down the street here. Now, uh, if we walk down here, I want you to be very careful how you behave. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, 
You mean you're going to order? Yeah. And if the guy asks me what I'm going to say? Just you don't want anything. You don't care for anything. You mean I tell a guy I don't want nothing to eat? That's the boy. Then you give me after, huh? I'll give you after. Take a stool. Huh? Take a stool. Take a no! no, no, no. What is he trying to say? What's with the two jerks, Myron? How? How about what? How about 
telling us how to get to the Bebop Boop Ranch. The what? The Bebop Boop Ranch. The what? The Bebop Boop Ranch. The bee barboo, 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 the b
It was there that I found them. Where do you think? I don't know. Niagara Falls. Whenever I hear that name, I want to kill it. Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls! That name, it drives me mad. I saw him standing there, and slowly I turned. And step by step by step, I crept upon him. And when I felt his foul breath on my face, I killed And I killed him. I stabbed him. And I beat him. And I beat him. And I beat him. I went mad. I went mad. Oh, oh I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. You're the... Yes, you're the little man with the kind face. I'm so sorry. Why don't you let the man tell his story? What are you buttoning in for? <laughs> Stop and think for a minute. That's I a... would have done the same thing if I met the guy at Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls! Slowly I turned on him. And step no, no, no. by step by step. <laughs> I step until I got him, and I beat 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 him, and I will kill. Bats! <laughs> oh, 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 I beg your pardon. This is terrible. You must forgive me. I, I don't know. I must be losing my head. He didn't hurt you, did he? <laughs> you leave the man alone. Got enough uh, worries on his mind. I won't say that word anymore. That word? I won't say it. What word? What word won't you say? That word that you would like to have me yes, say. Yes, but what word? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please tell me the word. What I am the word? not going to say that word. It's something in my brain. My I brain. know where it is. Is that water? Water. Sure is water. Up north. Yeah, the Canadian. Water. Yeah. Ah. But I am not going to say it. Please, I, I will not. I won't say it. Oh, I knew you would. He thought I was going to say Niagara Falls. No, only I heard. And step by step by step. And when I turned again, I bounced the belly like a light and insane. Again, the foul brute. Ah, and he was finally lying at my. <laughs> so what the, what's really he laughing at? So listen to me. <laughs> this is what happened. There he was. And I got to him. I was going to choke him, but I didn't. He was dead. So, with the waterfall there, I got up and I kicked him over the fall. And I went up laughing. He goes, vengeance! Vengeance! Mad, mad vengeance! Oh, I I had one of the water brothers here. Oh. That was a sad story, though. Huh? That was a sad story. Why do those things have to happen at Niagara Falls all the time? Niagara Falls? That's the place where I met that guy? What are you talking about? With all the Emotion that was inside of me when he took away my wife and children. I will never forget him when I met him at Niagara Falls.
men were coming and Fine. I can use a couple of strong men. Good. You look very strong, my boy. What I'll, do you want me to do? Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Abbott. Uh, you look a little tired. Why don't you go sit down for a while and rest? Thanks a lot. Uh, and I'll explain. He'll take care of all the matters. That's right. I'll explain to Mr. Costello. Just all there is to do. It's very simple. There's nothing to it. All you do... I don't want to work too hard. No, you won't. Believe me. All you do is you get out of bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. You milk 20 or 30 cows, fetch a few barrels of water from the well, cut down a couple of trees for firewood, milk the goats, clean the stables, and bingo, you're ready for breakfast. Now, isn't that easy? I'll just have a piece of toast. <laughs> we don't want you to overeat, you know. Now, right after breakfast, you overhaul the tractor, plow five acres of ground, dig a couple hundred sacks of potatoes, run over to the barn, pitch some hay, skip over to the alfalfa field, mow down 40 or 50 tons. Oh... Mow down 40, 50 tons, stack it, and bail it for shifting. Run a couple of wagon loads of fertilizer over the onion patch, and bingo, you're ready for lunch. Do you mind if I butter that toast? <laughs> Not at all. Now, right after lunch, you get your shovel, you see. You dig a drainage ditch all around the ranch. You repair the fences, clean the silos, turn the butter, thresh the wheat, spray the tomatoes, weed the cabbage patch. Trim the hedges, uh, fill the lanterns, bed down the cows, curry the horses. <laughs> And bingo! You're ready for supper. That's all I do is eat, huh? Oh, but right after supper, you and I have a big date. You're going to hitch up the surrey and take me for a nice long ride in the moonlight. Just the two of us. Oh, it'll be so romantic. The old horse knows right where to go. And when he stops, you move over closer to me like this. Oh, yes, you'll put your arm around me like this. And then your other arm. And then you put your head on my shoulder. Oh, yes. Oh, and then you raise your face to mine. This is a face. <laughs> and then you purse up your sweet little lips.
but I'm not that bad. <laughs> closer. Closer. <laughs> What you do? Zee Zingo, I'm ready for night lunch. <laughs> you know, I'm tired out. Now I look at a face like this now. What's the matter with my face? Hey, I gotta go to work. Hey, right, I'm gonna go do some work around here. Hey, want to watch <laughs> Uh, did you ever milk a cow before? Now I gotta milk the cow, right? You ever milk one before? Did I ever milk a cow before? Yeah. Are you kidding? Well, uh, what do you mean? You do now? Milk a cow? Yeah. Well, you get him to sit down and, uh... How do you milk a cow? You don't know how to milk a cow? No. You start from the back. From the back? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we didn't rehearse that. Whoa! Whoa, whoa boy! Whoa, Betsy! Whoa, whoa Betsy. Betsy! Whatever your name is. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 you don't understand. You take the bucket and you put it under the cow's udder. Huh? You take the bucket and you put it under the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? Udder. <laughs> Not udder what? The cow's udder. I take the bucket and I put it where? Under the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? Not udder what? <laughs> put it under the cow's udder something. Not udder something. <laughs> put it under the cow's udder nothing. You just put it under the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? Not udder what? You go to the source. What? You go right to the source. Who's talking about source? I want to hear. I want source. I'll pick apples. <laughs> Some direct from the source. The, the cow's tank. What? Tanks. You welcome. Now let me the cow's udder. The cow's udder what? Under here. Under there. Now go and milk the cow. Hey, Abbott! Abbott! Guy's got a fire tube set. Baby, so take it easy now. Whoa, oh boy. Now, right in there. Take it easy, baby. Don't get stiff now. Come on, let's go. Come on. Wait a minute, now. Take it easy now. So, put it in. So, for what? Here?
How you like ranch life by now? Pretty good, Miss Cabot. Pretty fast on the floor and all that sort of thing. Pretty you good. Like it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Glad you do, partner, because everybody likes you. As a matter of fact, they want to introduce you to the Roundup Club. They want to make you a member. Oh, I want that to... right, girl? Of course, before we make you a member, we got to initiate you. Okay. You know what an initiation does, uh, is, don't you? You belong to other clubs. We initiate you to give you a card. It's a little ritual you go through before you become a full-fledged member, all right? Go ahead. You know what an initiation is? No. Place you right here in the middle of the floor. The girls go around you three times. The third time they come around you, say, give it to me. What I get? That? What you I get? Get your membership card. Oh, I get the membership card. This makes you a full-fledged member, partner. I join. So stand right here. We'll get the girls around. Come on, girls. Three times now. One. Give it to me! <laughs> hey, what are you perspiring for? You've been working hard? I was just... Uh, would you like to be a member of the Roundup Club? <laughs> He, he don't know anything about it, does he? Well, of course not. Well, he just I, got here with you, didn't he? Are you a member? Yeah, I'm, I'm a member of the Roundup Club. Well, why like can't I be a member? You want to be a member? Certainly, I want to stand be. Stand over here. I'll tell you something. What do you mean? All you do is you stand here, yeah. then, then I'm going to go around you three times. You say, give it to me, and then I'm going to spit well, right on the watch. Yeah, no, no. The watch. <laughs> well, he's talking about oh. you know how you got to I'm going to... I want it as good as he got it. Oh, you should get it half as good as me. You're going to be all right. I'm gonna get the, the, the membership card. Oh, you're gonna get the card? Yeah, stay there. Real milk,
I want you to marry me. I'm crazy about you. Please marry me. Slim, you mustn't. Why, you know Black Pedro's threatened to kill any man that makes love to me. I don't care. I only want you. I know that. I only want you. You're the only one I ever want. Black Pedro! (laughs) You killed him. That will be a lesson to you. Yes, I killed him. I told you. (laughs) I told you. Any man who make a love to you, I kill him. (laughs) Pardon me. You'll see. Oh, I think I killed myself. Wow! Sheriff! 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 There's been a murder. Huh? There's been a murder. Where? Right there. Black Pedro was just here. Where is the body? Where is the body? Where is the body? There is the body. Where? Right there. Show it to me plainer. There it is. Gumdrops. Yeah, never mind the gumdrops. Uh, Black Pedro was just in here. This, this is Black Pedro? Yeah, look at the bullet marks. Yeah. Hey, you dead? Sure. I... <laughs> you wasn't supposed to say that. Hey! <laughs> Who did it? Black Pedro. Black Pedro? Hey, you're the sheriff. You've got to go after him. I'll go after him. Step aside, all of you. I want to show you some fancy shooting. Ah, stop. Get out of here, all of you. You didn't make me sheriff for nothing, you know. You see that? Yeah, I see that. Get Get this here. Still there. I'll grab it. Uh. You going after Black Peter or not? Which way did Black Peter go? Right out there. Hey, come here, fellas. This guy is dead, ain't he? Yeah. Get this stiff out of here. Not me! Not me! Him! Get him out! Which way did Black Peter go? That way. I shall go... Uh, there. I'll go this way. All right. Okay. okay. And I'll break it. Oh, yeah. Come on, go. <laughs> what are you doing back here? I forgot my gumdrops. Oh, oh, He's Black Pedro. That's not Black Pedro. He's got a price on his head. What do you mean? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Now gonna... listen, you guys. Just a minute. Stand over that bar. Now, now, Sheriff. Now stand over that bar. Take it easy, now. Which one of you guys stole the black gumdrops out oh, of here? Stop. You... And another thing, I'm not afraid of Black Pedro. You haven't got nerve to go after Black Pedro. Who hasn't got nerve to go after him? Well, hang around here. Show me Black Pedro, and I'll show you plenty, brother. You yes, I'll show. Uh-oh. Oh. You want some gumdrops? Yeah. Huh? I'm not afraid of Black Peter or nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> you you free Black Peter? Yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not the black one, the white one. I like the black one. Take the white one. (laughs) Well, all right. (laughs) I ought to drill a hole right through you. You ought to, but what are you going to do about it? I'm going to just drill you anyway, but I'll kill you the other way. I'm going to make you swallow the bullets. I won't waste one on you. No, don't make me swallow them. Why not? I don't lie. I can't digest them. Well, try. They're easy. I'll give them to you. Open your mouth. You have it. What's he trying to do to me now? He tells you. Hey, I'll uh, drop. <laughs> uh, now, wait a them. Swallow them. <laughs> Swallow them. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, I'm going to kick this guy's brains out. <laughs> <laughs> well, adios. Bye. Oh. So you really were afraid of him. You're afraid.
afraid of everybody that comes on this program. They all beat you up. I want to tell you something, Abbott. That's your whole fault, Lou. I was not afraid of Earl Flynn tonight because uh, Earl Flynn was reading the script. Yeah, yeah. He uh, was reading the script and he was supposed to be a tough guy. Yes, still afraid of him. Now, if I had George Raft in uh, Earl Flynn's part... You had him here before. I would tell Raft off. I would... <laughs> Good. If Raff was here, I know what I would do. I would slug him all over the joint. Five weeks ago, he'd like to kill me. In case you don't know it, I know it. If he was here right now, I would take this pistol. I would fall off and come down and hit him right on his head. And George, he would take the pistol and then the he and the who and then the who. More guns! <laughs> I was. <laughs> Give me that gun. George Rapp! I was. George <laughs> We want to thank Rhonda Fleming. We want to thank Bruce Cabot. And most of all, we want to thank George Raff for coming down here tonight to sort of give us a surprise finish to the show. I want to thank you too, bud. You I were superb. Thank you. thank you. Now, uh... We, we have... What is this? Mr. Raff. Thank you, Mr. Raff. The reason I came down, the Motion Picture Academy asked me to award this to Abbott and Costello. They said that you two fellas sell more corn and popcorn in the theaters while your picture is playing than any other picture that's ever been shown at the local theaters all over the world. And they said there's more corn in you two fellas than they've ever seen in their life. They want George, to you, you know what it says there? It says the pop scar, this pop scar salesman. In other words, we sell more popcorn in theaters than anybody that's right. else. Yeah. That's a nice trophy. That's all a right. nice trophy. How are we going to break this in half, though? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, bud. I will present it to you because you have a wonderful den and it looks pretty in your den. Well, thanks. For a much. week, then I'll come up and take it to my den. That's what I thought. George, we want to thank you for coming down. Thanks a lot, George. I... Thank you all. I, I feel sort of a breeze back here. Why? I want to thank everybody. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for having us in your homes. Thank you for coming. I Thank think you that all. just about does it, I hope. Is it true? Is it right? right. Good. Yakety yak. <laughs>